My name is Bill Walkman, staff writer for Ohio Valley Outdoors. In the fall of 2011, I had a chance to review Weatherby's newest released Vanguard Series 2 synthetic rifle. Now this is a great rifle and it had the sub-MOA accuracy as advertised. Now it's a year later and Weatherby has expanded the line to 11 different models of the Series 2 plus a combo and a package. The obvious question is the quality, craftsmanship and accuracy of the new models just as good. I decided to do a review of a different model in the Series 2 line. And I chose the Vanguard Series 2 carbine with a 20 inch barrel in 7mm08 and a blued finish. Now last year's Series 2 synthetic was a 243 with 24 inch barrel and a stainless finish. Now these rifles have a lot of common features. First off, there's a match quality two stage trigger in the Vanguard Series 2 line that is outstanding. The stage 1 or take up is about 1 16th of an inch. The stage 2 or sear release is approximately 2 and 3 quarter pounds from the factory. Now this can be adjusted up for a heavier trigger pull or down to as low as 2 and a half pounds. Now the synthetic stock used on the series 2 synthetic and the carbine is the same. Now the forearm and the grip areas are enhanced with grip tonight inserts. Now there is a raised palm swell on the right hand side of the hand grip and it feels really good when you hold this rifle. There's a hardened foam filling on the inside of the stock. Now this adds to the strength and it also deadens any hollow sound. Now it's important to note that not all the stocks in the Series 2 line are the gray synthetic with grip tonight inserts. Now there is a three position safety that it's very well marked. It's got the yellow S, a white U, and a red F. The bolt release is on the left hand side of the bolt sleeve and the hinged metal floor plate release is in front of the metal trigger guard. Now the bolt is fluted seven times to reduce surface contact by 25 percent with the receiver. Now the left lug of the bolt rides in a channel and the right lug rides on a rail. Now these two designs make for a smooth movement of the bolt back and forth. Weatherby uses a hammer forged barrel in the Vanguard Series 2 line. These barrels are accurate without the need for finishing work and they're more affordable. Uh, barrels have a rounded crown to protect the bore at the muzzle. The carbine's 20 inch barrel is obviously 4 inches shorter than the Series 2 synthetic and it does have a different taper. The carbine's barrel has a number one contour which is .561 inches muzzle diameter and the Series 2 synthetic has a number two contour barrel which has a .611 inch muzzle diameter. Now the receiver is screwed onto the barrel during assembly. This allows for head clearance to be adjusted to maximize accuracy. Now both rifles have a bead blasted finish and this is done for two reasons. First it removes any glossy finish and it gives a matte appearance. Second, it makes the finish more resistant to weather. Neither the blue nor the stainless showed any imperfections or irregularities when I checked them over. Now both rifles are stamped made in Japan on the receiver. These rifles are made by Howe to Weatherby specifications. Howe is known for manufacturing barrels, receivers, and firearms of exceptional quality and accuracy. Now this carbine comes in five popular short action calibers. A 223, a 22250, 243, 7mm08 and 308. The Series 2 synthetic offers 11 other long action calibers, whether it be Magnum calibers and WSM calibers. Of course, the big question how is the accuracy in the carbine? At the range, this Vanguard Series 2 carbine was evaluated with five different cartridges Barnes VORTX 120 grain tip TSX BTs, Federal Premium 140 grain nozzler ballistic tip. Hornady Superformance 139 grain SST, Winchester 140 grain ballistic silver tip, and Winchester Super X 140 grain power point. Since the actual muzzle velocity can differ from the manufacturer's specifications based on a variety of factors, one of which obviously being barrel length, these cartridges were measured coming out of the carbine's 20 inch barrel with a pro chrono chronograph positioned 5 feet from the muzzle. Now I fired five rounds of each cartridge and then the average was compared to the manufacturer's stated muzzle velocity. As you can see in this chart, the muzzle velocities were pretty close to what the manufacturer stated. 
It's also important to note how consistent the muzzle velocities were with all five of these cartridges. Next, the accuracy was checked with each cartridge. Weatherby promotes this Series 2 carbine as having sub-MOA accuracy with premium ammunition in a cold barrel. Now based on my testing of five three-shot groups with each cartridge, starting with a cold barrel and ending up in a warm barrel, this is a true statement. Four of the five cartridges tested produced sub-MOA groups at 100 yards. Now the Federal Premium and Winchester Silvertip produced the tightest groups in a cold barrel at 0.6 inches. The Federal Premium groups ranged from 0.6 inches in a cold barrel to 1.3 inches in a warm barrel. The Winchester Silver Tips ranged from 0.6 inches in a cold barrel to 1.2 inches in a warm barrel. Barnes, VORTX, and Hornady Superformance also shot under 1 inch groups. Now the Barnes, VORTX groups ranged from 0.9 inches in a cold barrel to 1.3 inches in the warm barrel. The Hornady Superformance ranged from 0.7 inches in a cold barrel to 1.1 inches in a warm barrel. Now the Barnes and Hornady may not have produced the smallest groups, but the groups were more consistent as the barrel warmed up. The Winchester Super X was the only one that did not produce a sub-MOA group. The three shot groups were 1.2 inches to 1.9 inches, and that's still respectable performance. Bottom line, this rifle really shoots good for a carbine. So what can I say about the Weatherby Vanguard Series 2 rifles I tested? First off, they shoot really good and live up to the sub-MOA accuracy claim. Second, the two-stage trigger is excellent. Third, the quality and craftsmanship is typical of the Weatherby reputation. And fourth, they're very reasonably priced. If you're considering an affordable rifle for yourself, a son or a daughter, a grandson, a granddaughter, you should definitely consider the Vanguard Series 2 line.